Nouns are words that name someone or something. Dog, house, mother, train are nouns both in English and Russian languages. Noun is the main part in our speech. The characteristics of nouns are gender, form and the case. On the picture we see what characteristics nouns in Russian language have. As for forms, this characteristic of noun in Russian is the same as in English. There can be one object or more than one, two, several or multiple. If the noun is one object, then it has singular form. If the noun represents two or more objects, then it has plural form. Here are examples of singular and plural forms. Singular form examples. Женщина, woman, дерево, tree, дорога, road. Plural form examples are женщины, women, деревья, trees, дороги, roads. As for genders, this characteristic in Russian is similar to English one, but is very different at the same time. The difference is that in Russian many English neuter nouns appear to be masculine or feminine. So, in English, most nouns have neuter gender, but in Russian masculine and feminine gender. It happens because in Russian we detect the gender not only by the meaning, but also and mostly by the ending of the word. We will study it all lately in details. Here are examples of Russian genders. Masculine gender. Most, bridge, камень, stone, человек. Human, друг, friend. Feminine gender. Кошка, cat. Дорога, road. Вода, water. Страна, country. Neuter gender. Облако, cloud. Животное, animal. Путешествие, journey. Движение, movement. As for cases, this characteristic of nouns plays much greater role in Russian than in English. In general, under the case we mean in what situation the noun has appeared. Sometimes the noun can play in the main role in the sentence and do some things. Sometimes it appears that some things are done to the noun or with the noun. In each case, Russian nouns may have different endings. So, one of the greatest challenges in learning Russian is here, in cases. We will work with cases later. Here are examples how the word can change in different cases. President. Nominative case. President. Genitive case. Presidenta. Dative case. Presidentu. Accusative case. Presidenta. Instrumental case. Presidentum. Prepositional case. Presidente. All these characteristics above grammatically play only one role. They change endings of nouns and therefore of all other parts of the sentence. In Russian language, ending changing is the main instrument in connecting words in the sentence and the beginner's Russian grammar is mostly about how to learn to change the endings of Russian words.